When I was thinking about what I was going to title my new album, the phrase second chance just kept popping into my head because everything about my life, um, my ministry, this year in particular, I could give you so many stories of how I feel like God has given me so many second chances. After all that I've been through, first met Natasha several years ago through her mother. Her mother was such a godly woman. She was so sweet and so kind and generous. And Natasha is so much like her mom in so many ways. And I've always known she had a special gift, a special love for music and for the Lord. Right after I had said that prayer to God about what is your plan for my life, I, that's when I started to hear about this Christian music competition on the radio. And just this feeling came, this is my answer to your prayer. You need to enter this competition. But I didn't know if it was just my crazy thought in my head or was this really God talking to me and I just kept putting the thought out of my head. Soon after that, uh, a competition came arose and I knew that she had a special gift. So I called my friend Rosie to see what she thought about it. I remember where I was at and we called each other the same time that we felt impressed that she needed to do this. The Holy Spirit just told me to tell her, Natasha, sign up for that competition. And I saw her up on the stage performing for the first time in front of so many people. And she was, even though she said she was nervous, she appeared to be very relaxed to me and she just really did such a great job. I'm so proud of her. The very first time I heard this song, it just moved me so much. Um, I can't sing a song that doesn't move me. I can't just sing a song just to sing it. When I heard it, there's a line in there that says, and every road that I've taken led to my regret. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, nothing to do but lift my head. And that was how I felt that I had so many regrets in my life, and it seemed like every decision that I had made on my own led to nothing but regrets. And so there, I came to a point where there was nothing left for me to do but just lift my head and look to Jesus for that guidance and direction in my life for that meaning and purpose that only He can give. What an awesome experience we had this year working with Natasha Perez at Day One Recording Studio. Natasha came in and one of the first comments from the engineers and uh, people on uh, in the studio was, she's the best singer we've had in here in the past 14 years. Natasha is just uh, very anointed, very talented young lady, uh, singing in both English and Spanish and, and doing equally uh, superbly. We're just so uh, happy to be working with her, and we're looking for great things to come from her ministry. What Love Is This, I just feel like most of the songs that I do have to do with love and mercy and grace, because I feel like that is the central theme of what I want my ministry to be about is about the love of Christ and what He's done for me and what He's really done for everyone in giving everybody a second chance. Loving us so much, knowing that He didn't have to do that. He chose to do it. I had been praying also for some more songs in Spanish to do. And the first time I heard What Love Is This, I actually heard the Spanish version of it. And I was getting ready to go sing at a women's retreat in Spanish. And so I just knew I had to do it.
My favorite song on her new CD is When All Is Said and Done. In the song, she talks about what she'll be remembered for after she's gone. When the music fades into the past And my days of life are through What will be? It has a special significance because uh, it really stems from the way she felt about her mother and what legacy her mother left. And it, uh, it's a very, a very touching song. How I long to see that The hardest thing about being um, a mom and a military wife and having a music ministry is just being able to have that quality time that we need together as a family. Because I don't have my mom and because of my husband's job, most of the time I, my son has to come with me. And, and so that's challenging, trying to find a balance there and remembering that my first job is my son. My first job is being a mom. and just letting God open those doors when he sees fit when you know when he when God knows that the time is right when all is said and done. when you meet her you just feel her spirit bear witness with your spirit and that's what uh, thrills us here at Day Win Via Dolorosa, I chose that when I was looking for a song, the proper song, the right song that God wanted me to do for the competition. She asked me to pray, what song should I sing? Once again, we prayed about it, and at the same time again, the same song the Holy Spirit revealed to us, that this is the song that she was to enter. Down the via Dolorosa in Jerusalem that day The soldiers tried to clear the narrow street The whole message behind the song that Jesus came and died for our sins, He took our place. He walked that road that we don't have to walk now. He made that choice because He loves us so much. He came and bore our sins and died in our place. And knowing that He loves each one of us so much that if we were the only person in the world, He still would have come and done it. Just for me and just for you. A lot about this ministry. We could see how the Lord has His hand on this in every step of the way. We just knew that the Lord was opening the doors and windows for her. I know that it's not just her great, great talent as a vocalist, but Natasha has a spirit that uh, people can feel, and you really uh, you feel the passion in her singing when you're when you're watching her sing. I wanted to point others to Jesus in whatever it was that I was doing in my life now and coming and dying on the cross, everything that He did in saving me, that was perfect. It was a second chance. <laughs>